Hey everybody, welcome back, good to see you all. Um, so today's video is by request um, because um, apparently you enjoyed the reading video that we did um, many weeks ago, which is so nice to hear. So um, we were asked if we'd do another one with a few book recommendations. So here we are giving you what you have asked for. Um, Similarly, we would love to hear your book recommendations, um, so please leave anything in the comments box below. Um, but yeah, I've got three here, um, and I know I'm going to hand over to Dana afterwards, she's got hers. But um, I'm going to start with what I'm currently reading, um, and nearly at the end of, um, so this is a book I got called Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind. So it's non-fiction, so I always put a pen in my book, pencil if I want to make a note. Um, but yeah, so it's called Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, um, non-fiction, and it really talks about um, humans from time began. The world is like four and a half billion years old and it's really talking about how we have how we began and how theories around how we have evolved um it talks about fire farming money science um and how we have managed as a species to kind of survive um it when it arrived i was reading another book at the time and i just kind of looked at the first page and i was hooked um and i couldn't put it down so yeah this is this is brilliant um would recommend it book i have read and i've read many times it's literally a monster of a book it's stephen king's it um i started reading stephen king novels when i was way too young probably about 12 and um, I had many a sleepless nights, many a night checking under the bed in the wardrobe. Um, and this is probably the reason why. It's basically the story of um, a bunch of children that are kind of a little bit on the edge. They're not the popular kids, um, but they all come together and make this amazing friendship that they have um essentially a monster in their town um this has been made into a film i think twice and it's also got a sequel um and i've seen all the films and they're brilliant as well but the book i mean if we've got some more time on our hands at the moment this is a good time to tackle it but it is it's a big one but it's worth it it's not just a horror a horror book it's it's um, really about kind of childhood and friendship um and things like that so that's a one more recommendation and then finally a book that i read quite a while ago which again i really enjoyed it's called reasons to stay alive and it's by matt haig um it's really a kind of uh semi-biography autobiography but also um sort of tip um, about really what his experience was and is. Um, so he came through uh, essentially a mental health crisis when he was in his 20s. He had sort of um, a lot of um, issues with anxiety and panic disorder and depression. And he writes about his experience, but he also writes about how he essentially triumphed over that um and came to kind of learn to live again really um and it's so well written um it's not it's not heavy it's not overly kind of deep or anything like that um so this is a great book and it's a book I, i've read more than once as well so i would recommend this one if you haven't already checked it out um so yeah three more book recommendations for you we would love to hear yours um but in the meantime i'm going to hand over to dana and happy reading everybody take care so my second favorite book is called shantaram which is very different to the book that i spoke to you guys a few weeks back um that book was more funny whereas this one is a bit more serious um, and it's a real life story of an Australian 
convicted robber who escapes out of prison and flees to India. And in India, the whole his whole story starts. Um, he starts living in the, in the slums, and so many things happen. He builds friendships. There's a bit of a, a love story in this as well. So, it's it's a bit of everything, um, but it really grabs you. And it was for me that is not someone that reads a lot of books, and sometimes maybe doesn't even complete reading one because I get bored. Um, this one was the perfect book for me, even though it's had over thousand pages I think which is a lot for me um, so as I don't, don't have the hard copy here right now I show it to you like this so Shantaram by Gregory David Roberts put the we put the name in the description box below can definitely recommend I just I just love like the variety of things that are, that are going on and just following this man um, through his journey through through India and you have a feeling because it's so well described that you are in India you are with him there which um, which not many books I think um, do um, so definitely want to check out